Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. It's time for another Sunday tutorial for Digital Delights by Luby Lou. And today we're going to make a pedestal card featuring Cupid Ridley. I just thought he was the cutest thing, a flying raccoon. Who would have thought? And guess what? There's a sentiment that goes with this too. And the sentiment is, if you're seeing a flying raccoon, you really need to lay off the chocolate. Isn't it cute? It just goes together perfectly. And we're going to take the sentiment and Ridley and make a pedestal card for Valentine's Day. Now I've already got Ridley mounted on some black cardstock, but I printed Ridley out at two and three quarters by two and seven eighths, and then I just trimmed him out. And the black mat that he's on is three and a quarter by three and a half. And I had these really cute little silver heart breads, and I added a small one here and a little bit larger one down here. And I have got him on some foam tape. The sentiment, which I just think is so perfect. Wendy's got a lot of sentiments that will go very nicely with her little digi stamps. So you need to check those out. But I cut or printed this out at an inch and a quarter by two and three quarters. And I've also got that on some small pop dots. But let me get everything uh, situated here and I'll show you the how we make the base for our pedestal card. For the base of the pedestal card, you need a piece of cardstock that's been cut at four and a quarter by eleven. And I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard. And we're going to score this at two and three quarters. And we're going to score it again at five and a half. Very simple. And then we'll just fold our score lines and get a nice sharp crease. And here's the base for our pedestal card. You can see there how it will sit up. Now I'm going to get the uh, main card front that goes on here and I'll show you how we put this together. For the front of your pedestal card, you'll need a piece of cardstock cut in the same color as your pedestal and it needs to be four and a quarter by five and a half. I've gone ahead and cut that and I've added this red and white polka dotted mat and this mat is four by five and a quarter. And I thought this went really well with the uh, red, white, and black theme. So I took some gingham uh, ribbon and I've already wrapped it around the back and tied it on the front in a bow. And we're going to go ahead and put Ridley on here. And I've got him on pop dots. So we'll go ahead and take these papers off and get him stuck down. They're trying to stick to me. I just think he's adorable. Now to put the card front on our pedestal card, you can see it folds like this. I've gone ahead and I've added some uh, ATG tape just in this area right here because this is the only part that we need to hold up our card front. And that's what helps it become a pedestal card because it will stand up then. So we're going to line up the edges and the bottom. Can't see this as well as I'd like. It's hard to put black on top of black. But I think we've got it. Yep, there we go. You can see now, this is the card front on the pedestal base. Now, we're going to cut something to go down here to act as a stop. I think we'll use another piece of the red and white polka dotted paper down here, and maybe a heart. That would be cute. So I'll go cut that, and I'll be right back. I've gone ahead and cut and adhered down this little red and white polka dotted mat and it's three by four 
and on top of that I've got the sentiment which is Happy Valentine's Day. It's on a black mat which is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. My sentiment mat is two and a half by three and a half. And I printed this using Menu Nouvelle at 22 points and I've got it on foam tape. And it's going to go right down here. And there we have our cute little pedestal card. Here's our cute little Cupid Ridley on the front of this pedestal card. And I love the little sentiment. And we've got Happy Valentine's Day down here. And we've left room for you to write your name and any sentiment you want to. And this does fold down and fits inside an A2 envelope. I think it turned out really cute. And if you guys would like to go over and see what Wendy's got. She's got lots of other cute little um, digital stamps for Valentine's Day. She's got lots more with Ridley and lots more cute sayings too. So go check them out. Thanks for coming by today guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.